Hello students, under the topic Compatible Systems of First Order Equations, here we have the second problem. Previously, we have completed the first problem where we, uh, we, have, we proved that the given PDEs are compatible and we also found the solution of the given PDEs. Now, here in this question, we have two PDEs, partial differential equations. First step is we have to prove that these two are compatible. After proving that they are compatible, we have to find the solutions of these PDE. So, in order to prove that they are compatible, first we will take the given equations as functions. So, let the function f be equal to xp. So, bringing this yq to the uh, left hand side, it becomes negative yq is equals 0. So, let us mark this as equation 1. In a similar way, we can take the function g to be equal to z multiplied with xp plus yq and bringing this 2xy to the left, negative 2xy is equal to 0 and let us mark this as equation 2. Now, we have to prove that these two systems of equations are compatible for which we have to prove the compatibility condition. So, previously I have explained to you about the compatibility condition. So, the necessary and sufficient condition for two partial differential equations where f is a function of x, y, z, p and q and g is also a function of those same. We have uh, the compatibility condition is this. So, if we prove this condition, we are done with the compatible compatibility condition that is we will be proving that the given PDEs are compatible. So first uh, in order to prove this we shall find the partial differentiation of f and g with respect to x, p, z and q. So let us do that first. So now I have taken and written f and g here. First we shall find do f by do x which is equal to the differentiation of this partially with respect to x. So, here alone we have x and this becomes 0 and so this will be equal to p. Next, we have to find dou f by dou z, which is equal to the partial differentiation of this with respect to z because we don't have z over here, this will be 0. So, the next one is dou f by dou y. So, that will be equal to, so this will become 0 and here we will have minus q. And the next one is dou f by dou p, which is equal to, now this has to be partially differentiated with respect to p. So, this will become 0 and uh, the differentiation of p is 1, so we will be having x alone. And at last, we have to find the partial differentiation of dou f by dou q. So, that will be equal to, so, this will become 0 and that will be negative y. In a similar way, we have to find dou g by dou x, which is equal to, uh, so here we will have zp and then uh, this will become 0. So, minus here we will have 2y. Next, we have to find dou g with respect to dou z. But we do, yeah, we do have z over here. So, it will be xp. So, next we have to find dou g by dou y, which is equal to, now if you see, we do, here this will become 0. We have a y over here. So, it will be zq. And here also we have a y minus 2x. So, the next will be dou g by dou p. So, with respect to p, when we differentiate this, with this uh, these two terms will become 0. So, for this alone, we will be having zx. And finally, dou g by dou q. So, that will be equal to, this term will become 0. And uh, here you will have zy. And this will also be 0. Now, after this, we have to evaluate the Jacobians separately. So, I have taken and written here. So, we have to evaluate the Jacobians. So, first one is this Jacobian we have to evaluate, which is equal to the determinant of this. So, that will be equal to determinant. The We will substitute each of the values we have that we have found just now. So, this is P and here X, ZP minus 2Y and here we have ZX. 
and on simplification of this determinant we will get z p x and cross multiply this minus x multiplied with z p minus into minus will become plus and then 2 x y okay in a similar way we have to calculate this determinant so that will be equal to this is 0 dou f by dou p is x this is x p and here we have a z x and so that will be equal to 0 minus x squared p so after this we have to find these two determinants so that will be equal to determinant of dou f by dou y is negative q negative y and this is z q minus 2 x and here z y and on simplification that is on finding the determinant we obtain this to be so if we multiply these two negative q z y and then this and this so negative uh, minus into minus will become plus so plus y z q and then minus 2 x y and then we have to find this determinant which is equal to dou f by dou z is 0 and this is negative y this is x p and this is z y and so that will be equal to this is 0 minus minus into minus will become uh, plus and then this and this when we multiply it becomes uh, x y p and so this is equal to x y p so we have obtained all the jacobians now we will substitute all this in the compatibility condition that is this condition and we will verify whether they are equal to zero so i have taken and written the compatibility condition so let us take the left hand side of the condition now this jacobian we have found to be equal to p z x minus x z p plus 2 x y so that we, we have substituted and this jacobian we found it to be minus x squared p so when multiplied with p it becomes minus x squared p square and then this jacobian we found it to be minus q z y plus y z q minus 2 x y and then plus this jacobian we got it to be x y p and so when multiplied with q we get plus x uh, y p q so this is the left hand side now we shall simplify this we uh, will just check out for the terms that gets cancelled so these two terms gets cancelled and here we have a two a plus 2 x y and minus 2 x y so they both get cancelled and then we have uh, minus q z y and plus uh, q uh, uh, q z y so these two terms gets cancelled so the remaining that is left out will be this term that is minus x squared p and the other left out term is this so that is plus x y and then uh, p q so we have this now we have to simplify this further now from the given question this y p uh, i mean uh, we have x y p q right we will see any substitution we can make for these terms so if we see from the question we observe that the first differential equation partial differential equation is xp is equal to yq so this we will make use of here so that will be xp is equal to yq is the differential equation that we have so this y and q can be replaced as xp so this will be equal to negative x squared p plus this x and this uh, p we will write first so xp multiplied with uh, yq what is that yq it is again xp so xp and so that will be equal to negative x squared p plus x squared p and uh, i mean uh, x squared and then p squared i have left a square over here so kindly make that correction 
because we have a p square over here x square p square so negative x square p square plus x square p square so these two gets cancelled and it becomes zero hence we have proved the compatibility condition that is we have proved that we took the left hand side of this and we have proved that it is equal to zero therefore the given system of partial differential equations are compatible we have proved the first part of the question now the second part of the question is they are asking us to find the solutions of these partial differential equations so let us see that now now the next step is to find the solution of the given PDEs so I have taken equation 1 and 2 so the solution of the PDE will be obtained from dz is equal to PDX plus QDY where we have to evaluate the value of P and Q from these two given equations and substitute here so we will first solve these two equations and we will find the value of the or value of p and q so in order to solve these two equations we have to multiply equation 1 by z so that these two terms become same and we can cancel it and we can easily solve for, solve for p and after which we can solve for q so we will multiply equation 1 by z so what we obtain is z x p minus z y q is equal to 0 the second equation we will write as it is. So zxp plus zyq minus 2xy is equal to 0. So we will solve these two equations. So these two terms gets cancelled. zxp plus zxp will give us 2zxp and then we have a minus 2xy and that is equal to 0. We will take this 2xy to the right hand side. So we get 2zxp to be equal to 2xy. So we can cancel the 2s and the x and we obtain zp to be equal to y from which we obtain p to be equal to y by z. So we have obtained the value of p. Now making the substitution of the value of p in equation 1, we can find the value of q. So now what is equation 1? xp minus yq is equal to 0. Now in this we will substitute the value of p which is y by z. So I will do that substitution here. So x multiplied with y by z plus minus yq is equal to 0. So xy by z is equal, I mean, uh, is equal to taking this yq to the right it becomes positive so yq so from this we see that uh, this y and this y gets cancelled and the value of q is equal to x by z so we have obtained the value of p and uh, the value of q as well now uh, taking these two values and substituting over here we can solve the given partial differential equation so now we will make the substitution so dz will be equal to p dx p is y by z dx plus q dy q is x by z dy now we will um, solve this now if you see z is common or uh, 1 by z we can take it out and it goes over here and so it becomes z dz is equals to y dx plus x dy now this can be written as z d z is equals to actually if we see this this is actually differentiation of x y so uv method they have used so y dx plus x dy can be written as d of x y now integrating on both the sides what we obtain is the integration for z is z squared by 2 is equal to now integral d of x y will be x y plus a con in a constant of integration c now from this uh, we get z squared to be equal to taking this 2 to the right it becomes 2xy plus 2c so this 2c can be written as some constant c1 so z squared is equals to 2xy plus c1 is the solution of the given partial differential equation so hence we have solved the given partial differential equation now, now we will do a problem a 3 which I, which I have already solved so I'll just show you here so here we have the problem 3 where uh, the equations are these two are partial differential equations we have to prove that they are compatible and hence find their solution so we have taken equation 1 and equation 2 
now we have taken the two functions separately and we have found all this and after that we have found the value of the Jacobians which we will be substituting in the compatibility condition so after finding all this we have to take and substitute this in the compatibility condition so this is the compatibility condition so in this condition when we substitute we observe that it, it is equal to zero so therefore the PDs are compatible so one of the part of the question is done the next is we have to find the solution of the given PDEs for which we have to take equation 1 and 2 and we know that we have we will be finding it by using dz is equals to PDX plus QDY. So in this we have to find the value of P and Q for which we have we will be solving equation 1 and 2. So we will be multiplying equation 1 by X and then we will write equation 2 as it is and we will solve for it we observe that these two terms gets cancelled and this these are the remaining terms left out so from which we get the value of p to be equal to x by z now taking this value of p and substituting in equation 1 we can get the value of q so q squared will be mon, uh, equal to 1 minus x squared by z squared from which we obtain the value of q to be equal to square root of z squared minus x squared divided by z now we are writing this and in this we will substitute the value of p and q so dz will be equal to we have substituted the value of p and q now we have to integrate this equation for which we will simplify this furthermore so zdz is equal to x dx because uh, we are taking this z to the left so we get this now here what we will do we will make a small substitution in order to make the integration simple we will substitute this uh, z squared minus x squared to be equal to y plus c the whole square now when we substitute so we get the uh, this to be equal to a square root of y plus c the whole squared so square root and square square uh, vanishes and uh, finally uh, we obtain this now integrating this on both the sides we get this to be equal to z squared by 2 is equal to x squared by 2 plus y plus c the whole squared by 2 now because 2 is common we can eliminate it on both the sides and we obtain the required solution to be z squared equal to x squared plus y plus c the whole squared so this is the required solution hope you have understood both the problems thank you